This movie shows how you can design and control an Arduino Turtle robot in Visual Designer. The hardware robot we have used is called a Funduino Turtle and is readily available online. In Proteus, we add the turtle in the usual way via the add peripheral command. When we do this, several peripherals are added to the project tree. Each peripheral has its own high level methods we can use to control the turtle. There is one for driving the wheels. one for the ultrasonic sensor on the head and a third for the infrared sensors underneath. Meanwhile, the schematic itself is updated to contain the turtle components and its wiring to the Arduino. The environment or world that our turtle will explore is defined by a picture that you specify as a property of the turtle component. The two simple rules for this playground are that black lines are to be followed and red lines are to be avoided. Let's see how this works with a simple line follower program. We use the methods in the project tree to create our program and draw a little racetrack in a graphics package. When we compile and run the program, our virtual turtle will carefully make its way along the track using the infrared sensors to stay on the line. As with any visual designer project, when we then program the real turtle, it will also make a decent effort at getting around the course. Unlike the real hardware, however, you can set breakpoints and single step in visual designer. For example, if we felt our sharp turn was too severe, we could set a breakpoint and then run the simulation to that point. This then allows us to debug our program, check our variables, and crucially, See what the turtle is doing as we single step. If we want to include some obstacle avoidance to our turtle playground, all we need to do is open up the picture and add some red. Then some more programming using the sonar head methods to detect and the drive methods to steer the turtle should prevent collisions. As always, the program can be fully designed and tested in simulation and then deployed to the real hardware at the press of a button.